What is up YouTube, Pulse here, and this video is going to be our distance calculator. This is going to be the distance being traveled by a car in the miles per hour times the amount of time you're in the car. It's a very simple one. I did change the list box up. It's going to be LST distance for the name, and then calculator is going to be the same exact thing it is in every one of my videos, C-A-L-C, calc, and then clear and exit. So for this one, we are going to need seven um, local variables for our start off. So I'm just going to explain them real quick. Our dim integer total as integer equals zero, because we're going to be starting from the beginning. Integer distance as integer will also equal zero. Decimal speed will be set as a decimal for zero. Time and total are also decimals, and they will be set for zero. Our string speed input as a string, and then our string time input as a string. So, uh, to get started to get the speed, it is going to be um, str speed input, and it will show us an input box, and it will say enter the speed in miles per hour of the vehicle. Then we are going to convert that to a decimal. So if decimal tripos um, string speed input a comma decimal speed, then we are going to get the time. So it would be str time input would be input box, and then it would say enter the time in hours that the vehicle is traveling. And we will convert that one to a decimal also. So if decimal tripos string time input decimal time, then the decimal total will equal the time times the speed. So that was the whole calculation right there. And now we need to display it in the um, inside of our list box. So display the speed will be string speed input equals the vehicle speed, which will have a column right here. And and decimal speed to string, which will mean it will be putting our speed to string overall. And then we're going to put and for sand, and then our miles per hour, which will be another box. So that will be both columns right there, and then it's going to be, we're going to add speed string input, and it'll be adding both of these functions. Then we're going to be adding time traveled, which will be another LST distance items add. And that will be our decimal time to string and hours. So we're going to be adding our hours time and time traveled. Um, next, I kind of messed up right here. I put too many space bars in between. So I will fix that right now. There should be more space between hours and distance than distance and traveled in the code. Um, we're going to be adding our hours and distance traveled features. And then we're also going to be adding the gap in between them to show our um, speed. Now we're going to be calculating for the amount of hours. You can run it from 1 to 100, it doesn't matter. I set it for 1 to 7 like the textbook wanted. So what it will be is for calculating addition, it will be integer distance equals C integer total times DEC speed, which will be the total distance times the speed. And that'll be for how many hours. Then it'll be LST distance items add integer total to string and add about five space bars and then integer distance to string it just puts more spaces between hours and distance to where they evenly line up with the bar i didn't really measure these too accurately um but i can fix that right now right there it's fixed Looks about the same, minus one or two maybe. And then we're going to be putting the total in for, so we'll have next. And then putting the total in, so LST distance items add. It's going to be adding the total distance, then with like two or three space bars in between. And decimal total to string, that'll be putting the label saying our overall distance, which will have this right next to it. That'll be the total number of hours that we drive, and that will have the total number next to it. Else, message box enter a numeric value for the time. The time has to be numeric value. It can't be letters, otherwise it will not um, recollect. And then end if. We can also put else, because we also we already did put an um, if up here, and then a second if, so we will need to put two else's and end ifs. So else, this is if it's not a numerical value for the speed, then it won't work either. Um, the close button is just close, and then to clear one of these, all you need to do is type LST distance items clear, and it will clear the um, list box. So we are going to run this one real quick just to show you guys that the t the um, GUI is working. It will just take a second to load up, like always, because I do open these from first run, and I do not run them right before I open it, which I probably should to where they would open quicker. Let me just drag it off my other monitor. 
There we go, it shows all distance calculated, just like the picture, except LSD distance will not show up. So, enter the number of speed for miles per hour, we'll say 50 miles an hour, general speed limit. And enter the time in hours, let's say we traveled for 5 hours. So, I didn't line them up exactly, I probably could have put less spaces in between up there or more right here. But our first hour would be 50 miles, we'd travel, our second would be 100, and every hour is another increment of 50, because if you go 50 miles an hour, every hour is the first hour plus 50. So since we did go 5 hours, our total distance would be 250. So you can put any numerical value in here, so 100 and then 53. Um, it'll only show us the first 7 hours like before, so every hour is another 100, and then our total distance would be 5,300 miles, because 53 hours at 100 miles an hour is 5,300. So guys, if you do have any questions about this one, let me know. I Pretty sure I explained this one short and brief to how it needed to be. If you do have any questions on any section, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Remember to like and sub because I do take time out of my day to make these videos and I am trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so that's always helpful too. So that's it for this video, guys. Remember, if you do need any help, leave a like below in the comments and be sure to check out the description below because I do have a link to my website for the programming tutorials downloads for a download on all of these code formats that I do in these videos. It will be posting each and every one of them. They are labeled by number. Um, C Sharp programs that I do will be listed in green and F Sharp or C Plus videos will be listed in blue. So guys, like I said, that's it for this video and I will be coming back to you with another one shortly. Thanks.